Is 30 miles per hour a ratio? In this lesson, you will learn how rates are part of the ratio family by reviewing the qualities of a ratio. Let's start by reviewing the definition. A ratio is a comparison between two or more quantities that are related. You may also remember that ratios can be three different types of comparisons. They can compare a part to another part, a part to a total, or rates. Today, we're finally going to start talking about that third comparison. What is a rate and why is it part of the ratio family? So a common mistake is when you focus on just comparing two or more quantities as the definition of a ratio, you may see a rate such as three miles per two hours and you may see a ratio such as three boys to two girls. And they both look like they're comparing two quantities. So why is one a rate and one a ratio? What is the key difference that I'm missing? To look at that and to examine why a rate is different than a ratio, let's try and think of some common rates. Maybe you know of one that deals with speed. That rate miles per hour, how fast a car is going or how fast a plane or train is going, that's a common rate. Or maybe you recently saw a commercial for a new car on television and they talked about their miles per gallon. That's a rate of fuel economy. Or maybe you help do the grocery shopping in your house and you know that produce and deli meats are given a price per pound. All of these are common rates. And you may notice miles per gallon, price per pound, miles per hour, that what makes a rate special is that a rate is a ratio that compares two or more quantities of different measures. And it's this idea that of different measures that sets rates slightly apart from the normal ratios we're looking used to seeing. But what does it mean to have a different measure? If I look at miles per hour and boys to girls, to be quite honest, at first glance, they both look like different measures to me. Miles are different than hours. Boys are definitely different from girls. So why is one considered a rate and the other considered a ratio? Now, the definition talked about different measures. So let's look at what each category measures. A mile measures distance. Hours measure time. But when we get to boys to girls, a boy is simply a category of gender. And so is a girl. So we can see, once we've broken down what's actually being measured, that the rate miles per hour is measuring something different. Distance is different from time. Whereas boys to girls, while the categories seem different, they're not different measures. They're both measures of gender. Another difference you might have noticed between rates and our standard ratios is this word per. Three miles per two hours. Now, per is a perfectly fine word all on its own, but in order to really understand what it means, I like to think of per or read per as for every. So, in my mind, three miles per two hours, I would rephrase, I traveled three miles for every two hours that passed, or for every three miles traveled, it took two hours, or for every two hours that passed, I traveled three miles. And each one for every takes the place of per. I think it has 
a more illustrative meaning. I can see that the constant pattern of this rate, which is why it's part of the ratio family in the first place. And what I'm talking about with that constant pattern is that idea of three miles per two hours does not just mean one set of two hours and one set of three miles. I could double that. It could be six miles per four hours or nine miles per three, six hours. It's that idea that the rate is constant and rates, like ratios, have a constant pattern. That's what makes them part of the ratio family in the first place. So in this lesson, you have learned how rates are part of the ratio family by reviewing the qualities of a ratio.